In nature, everything is connected. For now, let's learn about ecosystems. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is similar to a community and consists of both living organisms and their habitat. Living organisms include animals, plants, insects, and various microorganisms. Their habitat is the non-living nature that surrounds the living organisms, including precipitation, sunlight, soil, and water. The two primary types of ecosystems are terrestrial ecosystems and aquatic ecosystems. A terrestrial ecosystem is a community on land, while the aquatic one is a community on or under the water. There are also mixed ecosystems, such as swamps. Remember that ecosystems do not have any strict boundaries. For example, a forest is an ecosystem, but the anthill in that forest is also an ecosystem. The size or limit of an ecosystem depends on the area that is examined. The Earth is also a giant ecosystem. Let's see how the members of an aquatic ecosystem are connected. Algae that grow in the lake provide a shelter for small fish. Bigger fish feed on smaller fish. A reed makes shelter for insects. Frogs feed on insects that are attracted to humidity and plants around the lake. Please note that each member of this community is adapted to survive in this environment. It has shelter and can find some food. The connections between members of the ecosystem exist due to their adjustment to survive and reproduce. Damaging human activities destroy the connections in the ecosystem. For example, fishing reduces the amount of fish in a lake and weakens the lake's ecosystem. Pollution changes the living conditions in the lake and some members of the lake ecosystem simply die. Food provides energy to organisms which is essential in order to survive. Therefore, the most important connections between living organisms are based on nutrition and food. If nutrition links connect organisms, these organisms compose a food chain. It shows the path of energy and food from one chain member to another. Let's discuss some examples. Reindeer feed on lichens, whereas wolves hunt reindeer. A mouse eats grain, then a snake eats the mouse, and finally, an eagle hunts the snake. A single organism is adapted to feed on various things. For example, a mouse eats not only grain, but also insects or berries, while mice are the food of not only snakes, but also owls. Thus, the same organism belongs to several food chains. Interconnecting food chains compose a food web. In this food web, small birds also feed on berries, and owls feed on small birds. Frogs eat insects, and snakes eat frogs. The food web is infinite because in nature, everything is connected. <laughs>